Our team is very hardworking and we have a lot of creative people. It allows us to get a lot of uh, creative ideas so we can have the best design. It's a little chaotic at times because we take apart the robot every other week sometimes for some uh, mistakes, but then uh, in about one or two days we rebuild it and it's sort of a learning experience. Before we could actually do anything with the robot, before we could start building, we needed to understand what the game was asking of us and what we needed the robot to do. And we had to plan for how we wanted to build these things. Our strategy is to have a heavy and fast robot so that we can move people out of our way in order to get to our goal in an efficient amount of time. We also knew that we needed to have a large focus on the flag spinner in order to give us enough time to get over to the ramp and lift ourselves off the ground. Our first robot design implemented a turntable that allowed the robot's arm to rotate without actually rotating the drivetrain, which allowed one driver to focus on positioning while the other focused on scoring. And while this was a quicker method of scoring the blocks, it proved to be unstable and difficult to coordinate between the two drivers. So we decided that the first robot would not work, it was too unstable, too difficult to control, and was not fast enough. We replaced the entire robot with one that we built brand new from some old designs that we had from previous robots. The claw was replaced with a spindle collection system. The spindle collector is much faster than the claw and doesn't break nearly as easily. Our new lift system is going to be linear rather than attaching to the arm like the old robot because the arm simply broke when we tried to lift, but the linear system, even though it's a little bit slower, will be able to easily lift the robot using one motor. Our robot roughly costs $2,100, but we are able to save money by reusing parts. Our team has reached out to the community in various ways, including visiting middle schools and introducing the idea of STEM. We also hosted a Build It Day, where rookie teams came to the school to learn about the competition and get tips from experienced teams on how to design and build the robot. Hello, I'm Adam Ward, captain of Team 4997 Masquerade, and I believe that gracious professionalism is respecting other people's ideas, helping them when they're in need, and uh, trying to allow everyone to benefit from what FIRST has to offer in terms of learning and experience. <laughs>